Okay, so today I am taking a look at a Android TV box and I'm starting out of order simply because I was already playing around with streaming a uh, TV show. This is called a uh, TV show called Dominion and it's streaming in HD and I just wanted to kind of let you see how good the quality looked on this. So it's doing a good job. No buffering issues. Let me back out of this. So what I'm using here is the ICE Films that was already integrated into Kodi that was already installed on this uh, system. So, let me see. Home button. And I need to exit out of this. Bear with me a moment. All right, there we go. So that's your home screen. I don't know how well you can see that. It says uh, Launcher 3 or Media Box Launcher. And of course, you have your uh, apps that are already installed. Doesn't have a whole lot really on here, um, like games and things, but. I uh, used Chrome, it surfs the web well, plays back YouTube videos really easily. Uh, there's a just a little delay on some things, um, changing between different things. But uh, YouTube plays back well. So I just really like that part of the video, so that's where I had it at. Um, so yeah. And you have this show box, which I guess is kind of like Cody. I'm not familiar with it, but it apparently lets you watch movies too from what I saw or TV shows. It looked like it did anyway. Um, you know, all the other apps and things, you guys are pretty much familiar with how all that stuff works. There's not a lot to need to go into with that. Um, let me show you the other home launcher let's see so there you go and uh, we'll go into the settings other and more settings and we'll go all the way to the bottom so you see it's just basically if you're familiar with these Android boxes it's basically like having a tablet uh, Android tablet only it is your TV that your screen is interfacing with rather than the actual touch screen of the tablet so I said this thing moves pretty well does a pretty good job um, it is a little a little hesitant every so often in between um, changing sometimes it's not too bad luckily but you know there are different ones apparently there's a screenshot button on the bottom left hand corner I was playing around and took this screenshot here really don't uh, have a use for that screenshot Let me delete that but I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a look at the actual interface let's say you got both of the uh, interface options here between the two all right and let's say video plays back YouTube you know what have you now the actual unit is right here and go ahead and unplug this keyboard and mouse I just did that because it's so much faster and easier all right the power plug for this I'm actually gonna go ahead and pull the power for it this is the power port power plug for this unit. Alright. Disconnect this because I want to be able to show you the back side. So you've got little ventilation on the bottom, four little rubber feet. On the side you've got card reader, three USB ports on the side which is more than another unit that I thought was uh, basically the same, maybe a little more powerful because it uh, 
they have a little more processing power than this one does and on the back you can see there's another USB port your audio um, SP DIF or SPDIF as a lot of people say your AV input your HDMI Ethernet and power and on this side there's nothing and the front there's nothing but you saw the blue LED before that's lit up um, the box this comes with or comes in rather is over here so you have a little instructional manual actually it's quite thick but it's because of multiple languages and things and it does include its own HDMI cable I have a splitter set up or switch set up so I just tapped into one of those and you know your little plastic and everything that everything comes in so second All right. so as you can see it's got Cody 14.2 loaded YouTube Netflix Facebook Twitter Miracast DLNA airplay and it does do H264 1080p and it does the H265 um, of course Android KitKat is what you're running for the OS and it says 4x CPU, 4x GPU. The overall, it's a nice little box. Wi-Fi, you know, all that, just like all the others. But um, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys like a little quick rundown. Said so it's a nice little unit, definitely an attractive uh, looking unit. Go ahead and plug it back up. The little remote control. Giving you all the functionality that you need. It uses two AAA batteries. Let's plug this thing back up. One handed operation I'm doing here, bear with me. So there you go. Flash screen there. It may not be the absolute fastest little unit, but it works well enough. And there you are. So probably want to use one of the remotes that has the QWERTY keyboard on the back for easier navigation as is the case with pretty much all the Android boxes but uh, as you can see it's a fairly uh, fairly nice little unit responsive every so often there's a little bit of a lack of response and a split second later it will pop up so just something you have to get used to But, uh, yeah, I mean, overall, it's a nice little unit. It works well. I'm happy with it. Um, biggest thing I'm happy about is whenever I play back YouTube, uh, it doesn't chop up, stutter, and whatnot. So, that to me is always a good thing. So, by any means, I just want to give you a real quick rundown. So it's nicely loaded. It does have Kodi already installed, and a lot of add-ons are... Uh, already built in as soon as I turned it on it started updating all the add-ins and I was able to stream um, as you saw in the very beginning with uh, no problems high, high quality uh, video HD video okay so that's just a quick rundown on some of the little uh, functionality appreciate you watching